Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about some light level uh, surface um, repairs on our new canoe. So we're going to be doing some plastic uh, like repair, but not necessarily full plastic welding. Those videos are going to be down below. Those are for uh, if you have like screw holes you need to fill, anything that's kind of a hole all the way inside of our, so it's like a water intrusion point. Uh, this is going to be mostly cosmetic, so uh, it's like maybe some coral rash, some gouges, things like that. Uh, we're going to be fixing that up today. So the tools we're going to need, we're going to need gloves, uh, a screwdriver, a flat edge of some kind, we can use like a putty knife as well, some, uh, some light grit sandpaper, and some kind of heat source. For this, we're going to be using a torch. Uh, it's great because it has a uh, movable head on it, but we do need a steady stream of flame coming out, right? We don't want it to be kind of curving up. Uh, we want it to be able to point where we need it to go. A uh, heat gun also works great for this. So with that being said, let's jump in and let's fix some damage. So we have a couple different things going on here. Let's start with this one gouge right here, running across. So what we're gonna wanna do is start off with a little bit of heat. Uh, heat gun's a little bit easier to get even uh, application, but for this, we don't wanna go too, we don't wanna hold it on one spot for too long. We can start to melt the hole. But what we want is to kinda get it, just where it starts to get a little bit glossy. And that gouge, there you go, starts to close up. You'll see that the, the edges of uh, the little gouge there start to even close up and collapse on itself without you doing anything. Now you can do piece by piece or you can kind of do like a little bit of a bigger section. Flat edge comes in here, really starts to get that to close up. Again, less is more. You can always come back with more heat. Looks like we're going to need a little bit more for this one. Again, don't put too much heat in one spot. There you go, nice and tacky. Okay, so we're closing that up with the flat edge. Come back with our finger, kind of mix it together. It's gonna be a combination of like heat, flat edge, uh, gloved finger. Okay, so as you can see, you see it together. Okay, so that is closed up. Now we need to let it cool. So we're gonna hit it with our light grit sandpaper to kind of smooth it out here. We just have got a little bit too much heat here. What you're gonna see is your thumbprints are gonna kind of dig in a little bit deeper. So we're gonna take care of that. We sand it up, it'll look great. Um, so for some small rash stuff like this, what I would do is just put your heat, and most of these are going to kind of just disappear and start to close up on their own. You're not going to want to do a whole bunch of these types. Just kind of get them to start closing. Any of those ones, when you see them and they kind of have their little, like, uh, you hit something scraped up and all the little edges pulled up, you can just hit that with some heat and it'll drop down. Got some of those maybe like right here. There you go. Move this over so you can see this deeper gouge here. Okay, so we got both of those going. This one's cool. Time to bring it back with a little bit of sandpaper. This side. See how this side kind of came out really fast? This is the side that we had a little bit too much heat. See, we're gonna need some more sanding. And see how we're getting this kind of white scratched up? It's okay. We'll be able to take care of that with a little bit more heat. Heat gun does a really good job of that. It's pretty good there. But we can do it with a flame too. So bring the flame, you'll see, starts to bring that color right back to the boat. Again, don't hover in one spot too long. Just wanna bring that shine back. There we go. Okay, just gonna kinda continue this process too. So let's do that. And that's gonna be this light level repair. Again, remember, if you have more damage than this, you're bringing plastic into it, uh, that's gonna be something we can uh, take a look at the videos down below. We can have more tools for that. But for this, this is really just surface level uh, damage. I'm taking away that. There you go.